Hello everyone, Death Stimulator here, bringing you some more naval action. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of post-commentary as we had some issues with recording earlier. So not everything's going to be um, as it happens. <laughs> Our first match today, we're going up against two slightly smaller ships. A Renome and I can't think of what the other one was. In, in any case, we've got them outgunned. And we're going in with some nice double shot on the bell pool. We've also just equipped a new upgrade that we picked up, which was um, one of the uh, one of the ones that increases reload speed, but uh, decreases dispersion, uh, increases dispersion and reload speed. <laughs> so our reload's great. I mean, for for having double shot. It's uh, really solid. However, we have to be right up in their face. And with carronades, that's fine. It's not a major issue. So, with the Renome coming up beside us here, we're able to get a fantastic broadside off. And that's it, it's basically lost all its armour on one side. Need to put in a few extra shots before it'll pop a repair, but we won't bypass them immediately. We're gonna go on and get a broadside off against the other ship we're fighting. As you can see, we're kind of maintaining just that one angle, as I don't want to miss out on getting out uh, getting any shots off. I don't want to head too far upwind in case the other ships decide to kind of sit stationary. As I've noticed, a few ships recently have been. They just kind of sit at an angle, heading into the wind, and uh, yeah, it can be a bit of a pain to try and get to them. Quite as effective against the more heavily armoured uh, vessel there. Can't think of the name right now, sorry. And we end up missing a bunch of shots. We should have really uh, locked our position so that we weren't uh, continuing around into the wind to our left. And we're going a little bit too fast, and we have not been able to reload yet, so we don't get a full broadside off. Though it doesn't hurt to uh, hit them while we can. Bit of a delay in our firing there, but it actually worked out in our favour, with us hitting almost every shot. Uh, also, the small long guns on the rear are reloading very quickly, which is excellent. Trying to bypass the uh, Renome on our right so that we can use the already loaded side. It does mean that we end up going at a very sharp angle into the wind. But we're in no rush as we haven't really taken very much damage so far. And we're only five minutes in, or well, not even that, four minutes in. Due to the fact we're doing a bit of uh, post-commentary, there's not really too much I can add. This is, we're just coming back to this <laughs> so much later. And there we go, that's basically got it locked down. We don't have to worry too much about... Excuse the background noise. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about that Renome now, as 
it's basically done for. They've had to pop a repair, but it's not going to last very long. As we do have our port side guns loaded. So we've dropped our sails and we're just trying to take a slow turn here, waiting until we can get in a decent line with the Rename, as I just want to finish them off. And now, yep, yeah, just trying to get that turn off at a sharp angle. But it doesn't work out so well for us. Uh, that being said, I think we luck out a little here and don't actually lose our bow spirit. And we're able to uh, essentially finish off the Rename. I mean, that's virtually nothing left. I think we're going to hit it up once more from memory. But it probably doesn't even need it. We're still running around the area of Cork the Carl to Zaltman, just trying to get our bearings a little bit and decide what way we're going to do with the rest of this episode. I was looking for a way that we could increase our experience gain because I'd quite like to be able to completely pilot some of the larger ships. Unfortunately that will take some time still. We're still looking at about like 15,000 experience at least. Which is still something like 50 battles, depending on the amount of experience we get each time. We were very lucky this match, actually. We don't lose a lot of our guns and we don't get set on fire, which makes a nice change. Once again, that's just one of the benefits of playing in the smaller ships and like the frigate class and that, is that you don't lose quite as many guns against even-ish ma matches. Still need a little bit of work to do on the surprise. Pretty sure it's a surprise. It's been so long since I thought, fought the lower end of the frigate class <laughs> ships, I just can't think of the names at the, off the top of my head. And that should do it for both of them. Renome's not in good shape, it's kind of floundering over there. Looks better from there than it actually is. One thing I have noticed about the bell pool is the sails are hooked in quite quite sharply. Compared to some of the other ships. You know, they're not quite square the uh, lowest points. And I mean, as you can see there, there's still a little bit of work that needs to go on the uh, models, especially with stuff like the sails clipping through one another and the, through the rigging, that sort of thing.
This looks like it's pretty much wrapped up. Couple more hits against the surprise, and then we'll finish off the Renome if it doesn't sink on its own. It's certainly not looking too healthy. We've been careful in the match to make sure we keep our angles straight as long as possible, kind of trying to reduce the amount of hits we take and encourage some more ricochets. And I was just checking, yes, it is indeed sinking. And I think the Renome is going to sink before we get a chance to get over there. Yep. <laughs> Now, that's... Oh no, we did get one more shot off. Alright, oh, pretty solid. 11 minutes to take on two similar sized ships. Yes, we did have four more guns per side than they did. But once again, just showing the power of carronades. Now, what did we get for this? Not too much. I mean, this wasn't really worth worth the time. 300 XP, 10,000 gold, and some alright upgrades, nothing to write home about. I'm going to pop back to uh, Cork and then head over to Fort Zoutman, as I'd quite like to pick up our Bologna, actually pilot a larger ship for a little bit, try and get a fight against some more sizable opposing ships, rack up the XP if we can. So, that being said, we'll uh, cut away for a moment and come back once we have that organised. Okay, Zoutman. Yep, we'll repair our ship up and jump over to the Bologna. What's it got? It has... Mm, yep, yeah, pretty standard. <laughs> All our guns, everything's in good nick. Now, as we're coming in, I had spotted a group of constitutions. One was like an eight group of constitutions, a little bit much for us. And the other was a three group here. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's not quite that bad, actually. It's five. Uh, another player. <laughs> cool. All right, yeah, so five constitutions. We could maybe manage that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be keen. I would not be keen at all. Now, we're going to make our way over this way because there's the other group, the smaller group that we did see. There's a group of Spanish constitutions. And they would suit us much better, I think. Now, there's uh, only going to be so much that we can do on our own in a Bologna. So we're not going to we're not going to take on the big. All right, so we finally caught up to those Spanish constitutions, and we're going to jump into a match with them. Should be a fairly straightforward battle. Constitutions to a Bologna. Um, might be a little bit close, because if they were players, we'd struggle. Uh, they've only got one repair each as their AI constitutions, which means that uh, we, we're going to be fine uh, regardless. Now, we've got an optimal position on them as well. We don't have to worry too much about getting upwind, uh, with, about their getting upwind of us. And we can just take it at our own pace. I am going to just launch straight into firing our longs, though, because at this distance I would rather get the hits uh, than worry about the little bit of extra damage from doubles. We will change up our starboard guns, however, so that we are firing double shot. And we are going to get in there. And, ooh, <laughs> a bit of a ricochet there. But the angle's about right. 
That's good. Just enough damage to make it worthwhile. Now we're going to take a little bit of sustained fire. And you see the amount of damage that we're taking here is quite, quite relevant. Uh, with, without... Once again, if they were players, we'd be in a spot of bother. It's uh, not an insignificant amount um, from one constitution at that range. Once, especially when you consider that there are three of them here. Um, our port side guns, uh, just we're waiting to reload them on double until they've loaded ball, just rather than stop them part way through the reload. I should, if I was going to do it, I should have done it uh, sooner rather than later. So I may as well wait for them to finish up here. Mm. A little bit hopeful, but we can hold off just long enough to get a decent angle and then free uh, have free range. But as you can see, I mean, the difference between the two... Oh, we have been joined by another player. Uh, or a player, I should say. I mean, we are alone. They're in a frigate. Well, they'll have to be careful going up against these constitutions. Otherwise, uh, things will not, not be great for them. Uh, it'd be very easy for constitutions to sink a frigate, in all honesty. Just hoping that we can get our reload off in time. Give them a full broadside. Should have actually turned a bit more sharply here, changed our sails up. But we did get a number of good shots, and a lot of uh, shots that hit them on the heel as they were turning there. A few of the last ones going into the water, but it's a reasonable exchange. Now just want to line them up and uh, hit them with our rear carronades. Don't want to be too high, don't want to be too low. Um, looks like we're a bit impatient, but one of our shots landed. It's quite nice. Just sticking to battle sails here, and maybe doing a little bit of uh, decreasing and increasing as we go along. Now, our reload speed is quite decent on the Bologna. It's not perfect, but that's mainly just because we're so under crude still. We're still sitting at around the, what, 60, 70%, 68, 70% range. Now we're going dead slow. We're just waiting for this constitution to turn one way or the other so we can get a flat broadside. Trying to reduce the amount of ricochets that we're going to get, uh, which, I mean, it's worthwhile. And that ends up looking great. We can also get a bunch of shots off against the untouched constitution. And then we're going to have to look at working our way back. Now, I remember this. I nudged the mouse just a little bit too far down, so we ended up missing a whole lot of the shots there, which was rather vexing. So we just want to work our way back towards the frigate and the other con uh, the other constitution there. Because so we'd really like to finish it off. Down to one gun on our stern. We haven't done any repairs yet or anything with a couple of holes in our hull. a 
of surprised that we actually got the hit off there, to be honest. <laughs> Normally, uh, those shots are way too high. And uh, we're completely out of sync with our bottom deck. But our first two decks, or at least our second deck, isn't too shabby. In terms of damage output. Ooh, minor collision there between our ally and the frigate and that heavily damaged constitution. Is it the heavily damaged one? Yeah, it looks like it's popped its repair. So hope, hopefully, hopefully we can make our way over. Oh, they're on fire. Now, I should have said something here, but I, I thought that they'd catch it. And, uh, Yes, this uh, does come back and bite us a little bit. Yeah, we're, when we're this close, we as well just launch a full assault. And at this point I realise that they haven't got the fire under control. <laughs> and it blows up in our face. Kills a lot of our crew and uh, puts them in a fairly bad position. I was not too happy. Uh, fortunately, though, we hadn't used our surgeon yet, and we should remember to pop that momentarily. And uh, yeah, get ourselves back around. bit worried they were just going to sink straight up, but fortunately they're able to recover somewhat. And there is of course our repairs. Now everything's looking a little bit shabby. <laughs> Down to half hull strength. Got a bunch of leaks. And most of the constitutions are still handling themselves fairly well. And then, of course, I'm spending time trying to get these long double shots to work, and that's just silly. The shot dispersion is way too much. I mean, we don't even have the, uh, the grog rations, is it? That gives you the uh, increased dispersion? It's one of those, but we don't have it. <laughs> it's purely just long doubles. Now, we're just going to spin ourselves about here and work our way back into the middle of them. Not too, too much to say here. It's very much just a systematic play. This is probably the most outrageous thing we've done the entire battle, <laughs> is do a full turn. And uh, it's probably more important than anything else that we actually take the time to get our sh our broadsides fully loaded. Something I haven't actually done is uh, volley fire, locking certain decks and only firing decks or firing them in order. I remember it had a little bit of an impact on our accuracy in sea trials. Not too sure if it's changed up in open world or not. And really looked at other people playing the game. The poor frigate. <laughs> Completely demastered still, but they're not doing too badly in the hull stance. They're actually getting repairs underway. Hopefully they've popped their surgeon as well. We're back over the 400 mark, which is nice. We're not completely helpless. Probably about 50% crew. Absolutely. 
absolutely devastating blast into the constitution there. Quite disgusting, really. But I don't want to abandon the frigate, so I make our way back this way. Those two constitutions are in pretty poor shape, so I'm hoping that they will sink on their own. They're doing that thing where they kind of face into the wind as well and don't actually turn properly, which helps us out a bit. They're not running along beside us. It seems that the, the loss of the bow spirits uh, affects the AI quite a bit in some cases. Their turning becomes slower. I mean, that's that's to be expected with the mechanics, but I don't see them compensating very well for for it. In any case, the Spanish constitution ahead of us is reasonably healthy. But one or two broadsides should be able to finish it off. At the moment, I don't want to turn into the wind too much here, so I'm just going to overshoot it, running in front of it. Hoping that we can get a decent broadside off. And trying to be careful that we don't overturn into our ally. Fortunately, the constitution obliges us by turning into the wind a little bit. It's not the best opportunity, but I'll take a raking shot when I can get it. As long as we're not going too slow. In all honesty, I feel I messed up the timing a little bit here. But it worked out surprisingly well. It's not off, we didn't end up getting the raking shot, of course, but... Um, as a result, we got a full broadside. And unfortunately, they had to go AFK. Uh, and we lucked out a little bit. And we only really have to deal with this last constitution over here. The other two sink fairly shortly. Which is excellent. Uh, excellent news for us at any rate. Well, uh, we'll just uh, leave it for a couple of minutes as we close out. And I'll uh, see you guys at the closing screen.
Alrighty, uh, we'll wrap it up here. As usual, it's been Death Stimulator. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, do let us know. And please consider liking, commenting, favouriting or subscribing, as your support does mean the world to me. I'll see you all next time.